Hi guys! Welcome back to our channel! For today's video, I am showing you how I made this very cute, very simple, and easy cardigan that I made. We're going to start with the measurement, so I'll just show you how I take the measurement for this cardigan. Alright guys, so I have here the measurement. So we have a measurement A, we only use this for our front panel. So measurement A is the width of your front panel. So that's, I take that from the neck here until the end of the shoulder. So the shoulder part, that's how I get my measurement A for the width of my front panel. So from here to here. Now for measurement B, this is the length of your cardigan. So I start from the shoulder, of course, until the belly button. Or you can get go longer or make a crop top. That's fine. However long you want your cardigan to be, that's your measurement B. So for the front panel, we need your measurement A and B. For the back panel, we need your measurement C. So measurement C is, of course, from the shoulder here until here. So just add the two front panels. So measurement A times two plus the center. So of course, the, the space here for the center of your cardigan. I'll show you that how many how many stitches I added for my back panel, but that's your me measurement C. Okay, so front panel here, front panel, and then the space. So that's your measurement C for the back. Now you also need to measure your arm, of course, for the uh, for the sleeve. So measure your arm across like that measure your arm so for that when you measure that we're gonna also divide that into two so if you this is measurement D let's use that at, as measurement D so once you have that measurement you're going to divide that into two so take your measurement and we're gonna use that while we're making the cardigan Alright guys, and then of course the length of this, you can measure that while you're making the sleeve. So of course this, let's use that as measurement E. Okay, so I'm gonna, so you take that, take all the measurement that you need, your measurement A, B, C, and D, and we're going to start making the pattern. For the materials guys, I use comb cotton 6 ply, so this is size 2 yarn, so you can use any size 2 yarn that you have. Then of course, we need a hook, so I'm using 3.75, so we are going to use a bigger size than what is needed for our yarn. Of course, stitch markers, a pair of scissors, and a yarn needle. To start guys, so you grab your yarn of course and your crochet hook and make a slip knot. After that, so we're doing or we're making our front panel. So take your measurement A and chain a number divisible by 4 plus 2. Okay. Two until you reach the, the measurement A, okay? So I have 36 plus two, so that's 38. And then we're gonna chain two more for our turning chain. So after that, once you have that, we're gonna continue with the pattern. So yarn over and make your first double crochet in the third chain from your hook so to do that you normally were just gonna crochet in the top loop but for this pattern I'm using the back 
bump so if you turn your uh, chain like this you'll see a bump over here so there's another loop at the back of the chain so just insert your hook in that bump and make your double crochet one more time so yarn over again in the back bump insert your hook and make a double crochet so this is what you're going to do until third bump okay so I have three double crochets there you go three double crochet once you have three chain one skip one chain and make your next double crochet in the next bump like so there you go all right one more time so yarn over in the next bump make another double crochet One more double crochet in the next bump. Like that. To continue, chain one, skip one chain, and make your next double crochet in the next loop or bump. Like that. Okay. So the pattern is chain, uh, sorry, double crochet in the next three chains or bump. This is the second double crochet. One more double crochet in the next. So I already have three. So I have three. Chain one and then skip one chain and make your double crochet in the next bump like so so continue with this pattern double crochet in the next three stitches and chain one skip one and then make another three double crochet so you do that until the end of your row by the end of the row you'll have three remaining uh, stitches and I'll meet you right there So here you go guys, I am almost done with the first row as you can see I have three remaining uh, chains so To continue or to finish your row chain two skip one and finish with two double crochet or one double crochet in each chain so again, we're using the back bump like so all right and one more so every row you'll end up with uh two double crochet um yeah so i forgot to mark to use my stitch marker so please make sure that you use your stitch marker, guys, so you won't increase or decrease your row. So you won't miss a stitch, okay? So here is my first double crochet. So this is, the chain two doesn't count as a stitch. So I should have added a stitch marker on top of the first double crochet, okay? Now we'll continue with row two. To continue row two, chain two, again, doesn't count as a stitch and as you uh, can you will notice that I'm also crocheting loosely don't make it too tight when you crochet because we want it to be like a, a lazy pattern so turn your work after chain two you turn your work and make your first double crochet on top of the first double crochet or stitch there you go so and now we're not gonna forget to add our stitch marker so add your stitch marker on the first double crochet there you go 
and next make one double crochet again in the next stitch and one double crochet in the chain space so insert your hook in the space and make a double crochet Now chain one, skip one, so skip this part and make your next double crochet in the next stitch, like so. So the pattern will be three double crochet, so one double crochet in the next three stitches. So I'm making another double crochet and the third double crochet will always be in the chain space like so like that. so i have three double crochet now chain one and we're skipping the next stitch so this is the next stitch make your next double crochet here On the second double crochet one more double crochet and the next or the third double crochet will be in the chain space so there so that's the pattern until you reach the end of the row so chain one skip one and then make one double crochet in the next three stitches and just remember that your third double crochet will always be in the chain space. Meet you when we reach the end of the row. Alright guys, so as you can see, I again, I have three remaining stitches. So we're going to end our row with chain one. And then one do skip one and then make one double crochet in the next two stitches okay so this is one and then let's remove this and we're gonna make our last double crochet like so there you go so just repeat row two chain two turn your work and just repeat row two until you reach your measurement B, which is the length of your cardigan. So I'm just gonna continue with this and I'll meet you once I have or I'll finish my front panel. Okay guys, so my front panel, I made, again, this is a total of 38 chains. 38 um, stitches plus the length of my cardigan is 35 rows so I completed 35 rows to end that so just yarn over cut your yarn and then go through your yarn now you'll make another uh, front panel so you need two Make sure that it's the same size, so however or how many chains you uh, started and then the length will be the same as well. Ten. Alright guys, so for our back panel, of course, we're just going to add the chains that we made for our two front panels. So that's measurement A, right? So measurement A times 2. So for me, that's 38 times 2. Plus, we're going to add 22 more chains. That's for the uh, width of the center of our uh, cardigan. Okay. So, I'll chain that. That for me is 98 total. So, once you have 98 or the number of chains that you need for your back panel... We'll, we'll start with the pattern. So it's the same as what we did with the front panel. So chain two. Doesn't count as a stitch. It's your turning chain. And then we're gonna, we're gonna make our 
first double crochet in the third chain from the hook all right so there you go guys as you can see i've already attached my front panel and made the sleeve for this side so this is the front panel and the back panel this is already the right side so when i attach this i have their um the right side facing each other so i'm gonna show you that on the other side so as you can see i haven't attached it yet so here's my front panel so i'm gonna show you how to do that on this side just want to show you how it should look like when you've already attached your front panel here and then you made the sleeve and the ribbing stitch rib stitch there you go so all right guys so i have this um back panel so lay flat lay flat so this is the back panel and my front panel now i want there the front side or the right side of the back panel and the right side of your front panel should be facing each other so like that so this is the right side it's facing the right side of the back panel and then we're gonna touch them align them together like so like that and of course we're gonna put the stitch marker so just count or just make sure that it's aligned as you can see right align together so i'm gonna put a stitch marker you can also count this is this mine my front panel is 38 stitches so just count 38 stitches and put the stitch marker right over there there you go stitch marker so what i want to do is put the stitch marker as well here just to make sure it won't move It won't change side or anything stitch marker again here just keep adding stitch markers and another one you can also add um, or use bobby pins just to make sure that they're intact okay there you go so uh, once you have that we are going to sew the parts together so this is the technique that i use to sew the panels together so grab your knitting needle or darning needle yarn needle and the yarn that you use for your cardigan of course There you go guys so i'm gonna show you now how to how i sewn the parts together okay so remove your stitch marker so for this end of course i'm gonna tie them together so tie ends together as tight as you can or as tight as you want just like that that's the first stitch so I attach them together by tying them as tight as I can so now for this part as you can see this is the stitches so we have two loops right but oh no that is the loop so this is the loop the top of the double crochet and this is the loop for the top of the double crochet as well for this side so what i want to do is to sew not both loop but only the back loop of each stitch so for this one just the back loop and then for the other one just the back loop
if you're if you know you already know how to sew you have a technique that you follow in sewing and um, panels together you can follow that but for me I want it this way so it will not be bulky when we turn it so I'll show you that once we're done so again back loop on this side and again back loop on the other side so so this is the um, chain space of course it also has loops like this so the V the V loop I'm only going to get the back loop and the back loop on the other end the other side like, so. like that and then again I'll continue with this so here is the back loop and the back loop just make sure it's nice and tight not don't pull it too tight because it's gonna um, squeeze like that so don't it don't pull it too tight just enough again back loop and back loop on the other side here's the V I'm gonna take this not like this but you can also do that again you can do that but I prefer it this way so, so I'll finish this um, this side and I'll meet you once I reach the end of this side okay guys so now I've reached the end so I'll just remove this stitch marker and we're gonna sew this part like we did in the beginning so get both loops together like so and then here both loops together so we just want to make sure that it's night, nice and tight. So I'm going to use this, the end of the, uh, the end of the stitch for the other panel. And I'm going to pull that. So that's all good. We're done with attaching this side. So this is the top of the cardigan, the shoulder part. I'll just show you how it looks like so this is the wrong side and this is the right side of the panel see how nice that is when you do that when you do that stitch so nice okay and now let's just go back we're not finished we need to sew the side but we need to leave a armhole right so for armhole get your measurement of your arm so you measure your arm like that and divide it by two the number so if it's for example 12 so you have six now make sure it's the right so until six, so you're gonna make a mark here. Just make sure it's aligned. Again, your stitches are aligned because you have a front look, uh, you have a front panel and a back panel. Aligned. Like that. So here is the six inches. Here are my six inches. So I'm gonna put a marker. And that's gonna be my arm hole. So this is gonna be my armhole, and we're gonna have to uh, sew this part. Okay, so this is the side of the back, uh, of the cardigan. So again guys, I have the marker here. This is the armhole. So we're gonna sew this part until the bottom of the cardigan. So of course, we want to make sure that these are aligned. So I'm gonna put stitch marker at the end and just to make sure that it won't change um, its place. Right? So, so stitch marker here, you can use one piece. 
Up to you. You don't have a lot of stitch markers. So like that. Just make sure the stitches are still aligned. Okay. Now we're gonna sew. It's gonna be tricky on this part because we cannot see the stitches. There's no specific stitches that we can um, take to sew this part. So I'm gonna show you how the trick that I make or do when sewing this part of the part again. So of course, in the beginning, we are just going to sew this part together by tying like that. Now, let's sew the part together. So, no specific stitch unlike on top because it has the top of the double crochet, right? But here, we're just gonna take any stitch that we can see that is closer to us. This right here in this part. So, I'm taking this. And on the other end, just take any stitch that you can see. Like that. So here, just take this part and this part. In other tutorials, you'll see that they're sewing just right here. So it's gonna have a bulk edge or side. So I want it to be this way so there's no bulky uh, stitches. So just those loops that you can see, like this one. So that's a loop. And then on the other side, I'll take whatever it is that is aligned, whatever stitch that is near me and is aligned on that stitch. Like so, like that. So for this part, so here, there's a loop or a stitch right over there. So I'll take that. And so on the other end, like so. So again, for this one, oopsie, let me take that, the whole thing. And then here. So you'll do that, so again this is a stitch, very easy to see, it's a loop and another loop on the other end, on the other side. And here, there's another loop. So no specific stitch, I can't tell you where to insert your hook or which stitch to sew together, but You'll get it. Again, for this part, I'm done here. I'm going to move here. But again, for sewing parts or your panels, depends if you already know how to sew or if you have a technique that you're using to sew your parts together, that's fine. You can use that as long as you will be able to attach your front and your back panel, okay? So I'm going to continue doing this. I'm going to finish sewing this until I reach my last stitch marker. Okay, so I reach the end of this round. I'm going to remove my stitch marker. And I'm just going to finish. Here is where we remove our stitch marker, right? So I'm just going to finish by tying this. I'm done with sewing the front panel and the back panel for this side so you're gonna do the same on the other side guys it's just the same process for both sides so now that we have that this is the center the top the armhole and the side of the cardigan 
we are going to continue with the sleeve okay so what I want to do is to work on the right side of the sleeve so after you have that this is the wrong side guys we have the uh, right side facing each other right so the wrong side is in front of you so let's flip that let's flip your um, cardigan so we are now working on the right side so this is the front side of your cardigan so just take that find this is the bottom of the sleeve uh, so take that grab your needle or your hook so your hook the same size slip knot and we're going to attach so this is uh, the technique that I use to attach the yarn but you can again use whatever technique you use just to make sure that you attach your yarn here so just find the very last stitch so this is the circle this is my very first stitch guys I'm just see this is a double crochet so we're going to attach here the very first space that we can see I'm attaching my yarn right now so now that you have your yarn attached to the cardigan again chain two again guys this doesn't count as a stitch so this is just for turning chain so make one double crochet in the same space so one one double crochet in the next space so here is a space guys so there is a space and here is a space one more double crochet in the next space so there's another space see so we have three double crochet now so it's the same pattern chain one and skip one stitch or one space so this is a space we're going to go to the next space so yarn over insert your hook in that space and make one double crochet what's going on yarn over and make another double crochet in the next Space. so there is another space there make sure you crochet loosely guys okay not too tight again one more double crochet yarn over and another double crochet in the next space so you have three three double crochets and then you're gonna chain one and skip the space again so we're going to skip this space regardless guys if it's if you find it big that's all right so just chain one skip this space and make your double crochet in the next space that you can see there you go yarn over so again one double crochet in the next space yarn over and one double crochet in the next space all right chain one skip the space move that skip this space and make your double crochet in the next space like so yarn over make another double crochet in the next space like that one more double crochet in the next space okay guys now we have three double crochets we're gonna chain one skip 
this space, make the next double crochet in the next space. Guys, you're going to do that all around until you reach here. And I'll meet you once you're here, guys, okay? Oh, sorry, I forgot. You always need to make sure that you add the stitch marker on top of the very first double crochet that you create on this round, okay? So add a stitch marker. This is the first double crochet, right? Because the chain two doesn't count as a stitch so this is one two three so this is the first double crochet i add a stitch marker guys please don't forget to add your stitch marker on top of the first double crochet okay so i'll continue doing this until i reach the end of this row Okay guys, so I'm almost at the end of this row. So remember for this pattern, we always end up with two double crochet, not three double crochets. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to do the same. So chain one, skip this part and make two double crochet. So if you don't see two remaining stitches, just add two double crochet in one space just making sure that you are going to end with two double crochets so that means one space or chain one two double crochet okay so this is the last double crochet that i'm making for this part or this row there you go now we're going to slip stitch on top of the first double crochet so that's why we have to have a stitch marker add, added to that stitch so remove your stitch marker make a single crochet or sorry a slip stitch like so now we're done with row one chain chain two okay let's continue with row two chain two turn your work so we're gonna turn our work every row so i'm done I turn your work and make the same pattern as what we did with the entire card again so yarn over make one double crochet in the next double crochet add your stitch marker like so one double crochet in the next and then one more double crochet in the chain space so it's the same guys we're turning our work every row now we have three double crochets chain one skip one and make one double crochet in the next stitch So guys, I'll continue with this pattern until I reach the end of the row. Okay guys, so again, I've reached the end. So chain one and again, as you can see, I'm still going to end with two double crochet. So chain one, skip this and make one double crochet here. And another double crochet here. Now we're going to make a slip stitch on top of the stitch marker. So just remove your stitch marker and make a slip stitch. So you guys are going to continue with the same pattern. Row 3 until you reach the length or the desired um, length for your sleeve so I'm gonna uh, continue working on this pattern until I reach until here so you can try that on and see if you have enough stitches so once I have it here we'll continue with the rib pattern okay guys so I'm done with the sleeve so I made a total of 31 rows of the pattern 
now I'm just going to show you how to do the ribbing pattern. As you can see, this is too wide for your wrist. So we want it uh, we want to close this as tight as we want for our sleeve just enough now i'm also using i'm also changing my um crochet hook size so i'm using 3 mm so from 3.75 i'm down to 3 3 mm you can use 3.5 or 2.75 but for me i'm using 3 mm hook and we're also going to decrease the stitches so let's continue now chain two doesn't count as your stitch we're still gonna turn our work so there and now we are going to make a decrease row so uh, the entire row it's gonna be a decrease yarn over insert your hook in the next stitch we're gonna make a double crochet but we're not going to finish yarn over pull through two so I have remaining two loops on my hook yarn over insert your hook in the next stitch yarn over pull through two now I have four loops on my hook yarn over pull through two and yarn over all pull through all three loops so this is the first decrease so first double crochet decrease so I want to add a stitch marker just to make sure I won't miss the very first stitch that we made now let me continue yarn over insert your hook in the chain space yarn over pull through now yarn over pull through two you have a remaining two don't finish your double crochet yarn over insert your hook in the next stitch now you have four loops yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through all three loops on your hook game okay. let's continue yarn over insert your hook in the next and make a double crochet but don't finish so you should have remaining two loops on your hook yarn over insert your hook in the next stitch yarn over now four loops yarn over pull through two loops yarn over pull through all three loops we have three stitches again yarn over insert your hook in the chain space yarn over, pull through yarn over pull through two remaining two don't finish yarn over insert your hook in the next stitch so yarn over pull through two remaining three yarn over pull through all three loops i have four so that's how you are going to decrease this row so i'll continue with this and i'll meet you once i reach the end of this row okay so i've reached the end of my row as you can see it's now closed like that it's not too wide and we're going to slip stitch on top of the first double de uh, double crochet decrease so remove your stitch marker and make a slip stitch there you go now we'll continue and this is going to be the rib pattern front post double crochet and back post double crochet so yarn uh chain two doesn't count as a stitch and this is your first so it's just showing two because we decrease right but it counts as one stitch so yarn over insert your hook on the side space of the first double de uh, double crochet decrease so here it is and then you're gonna go out on the other side so this is the front post double crochet insert your hook here go out and we'll continue with the double crochet so yarn over pull through like so 
So you have three. So we just finish off with the double crochets. So yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That's the front pull. So you now have two pulls, two front pulls, double crochet, right? This one. Yarn over, so we'll continue with the back pose. So front pose, double crochet, and next stitch is back pose. So yarn over, so back pose, you're going to come from inside out, but still in the side, on the side of the double, uh, double crochet decrease. So not here, but on the side. So insert from outside from inside out and then you go in on the other side of the double crochet decrease that so just yarn over and pull through your yarn so yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two so you have it front post and a back post double crochet continue again this is a front post so yarn over insert your hook on the side this is the side this is your stitch and go on the other side okay yarn over pull through Yarn over, pull through two, pull through two. So that's your front post. So you have front post, back post, front post. So next one is again back post. So yarn over, go from inside out, and you're still on the side of the stitch. Go on the other side that so this is how it should look like so yarn over and pull through like that yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two i'll do the front post and the back post one more time if you find it fast again guys you can pause and replay all right so yarn over this is your this is counted as one stitch right because this is a decrease don't be confused so this is just a one stitch so yarn over insert your hook in the side on the side of the double crochet decrease so here is the space go from inside out yarn over there you go yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two so that's your front post next one is a back post so yarn over now you're going when it's back post again remember you're going from in out and then from out going in but on the other side Okay, so that's how it looks like. Yarn over and then just pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. So I'll continue with making my rib pattern and I'll meet you once we're on the end, at the end of the row. So there guys, I'm ending with a front post and that's all right. So front post, double crochet. Oh, I, I forgot to add the stitch marker. Again guys, this is the first front post double crochet. So we're going to slip stitch. The chain two, as you can see, there's a chain two and this is the top of the double crochet. So just insert your hook and make a slip stitch. So don't forget to add your stitch marker. I'll show you how to do that. Now, this is how it should look like, guys. 
you'll appreciate the beauty of this um, rib pattern once you have few more rolls so I'd like to make 1.5 to 2 inches of the ribbing uh, pattern so chain 2 again this doesn't count as your stitch so it's gonna be easy now to see where you're going to insert your hook because as you can see we have here the front post and there is the back post this one now yarn over and make a front post on top of the front post double crochet so yarn over insert your hook on the side and go back guys again I'll do that so from the side to the other side in and yarn over make a double crochet so just add the stitch marker like so don't forget this part <laughs> so uh, you won't miss the stitch now we're done with the front post we're going to make a back post double crochet on top of the back post double crochet so yarn over here is your back post you don't need to do that it's easier to see it right like this so yarn over from inside your hook on this side to the other side yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two so here is the post let's do that again yarn over this is the front post just insert your hook on the side to the other side yarn over Again, for the back post, double crochet, yarn over, and here is the side, so you're working at the back, yarn, yarn, there you go, and then, like so. So that's how you're going to do this. Continue making your front post and your back post until you reach the end of the row and Every row you end with a slip stitch and then you don't have to turn your work every row Just continue with making one front post double crochet on the front post and back post on your back post double crochet Okay, guys, so I'll just show you uh, how I end my or finish my row so again just remove your stitch marker and make a slip stitch on top of the first front post double crochet we're almost done with the the cardigan so I'm done with the sleeve now we just want to add the ribbing pattern or um, stitch here at the bottom of our cardigan as well as in the center so I'm just finding the end, here is the end, right, and the other end. So I have the, uh, the cardigan flip upside down. There we go. So I'll start here, this is the front panel, the end of the front panel, and this one is the end of the other front panel. Here, I'm attaching my yarn. Insert your hook and make a slip stitch to attach. So it's gonna be the same. This is the rib pattern, the same as what we did with our um, wrists. Chain two, doesn't count as a stitch. Make one double crochet in each stitch from your hook. Oh, sorry. Make one double crochet in each stitch across. Okay, so I made one double crochet in the next stitch, yarn over, another double crochet in the next, yarn over, 
double crochet here. Double crochet in the chain space. And double crochet again. So just make one double crochet in each stitch across, guys, until you reach the end, the other end. Okay? So don't forget that we're making also a double crochet in the chain space. That's chain space, double crochet. Okay, so I'll meet you once we reach the end of this row. So there you go guys, I've reached the end of the row with all double crochet across. Now we're going to continue again with the rib pattern. Now you turn your work, chain two, turn your work and make, this doesn't count as a stitch guys, okay? So make one double crochet in the same stitch from your hook. So just regular double crochet. Add the stitch marker. Now, we're going to make the front loop and back loop double crochet. So yarn over, here's your double crochet, and make a front pose. So just insert your hook on the side and go out on the other side. And make a double crochet. Like so, yarn over. This is your double crochet, so we're making a back post double crochet. So from inside out and on the other side, go out. Yarn over, pull through, make a double crochet. Like that. So yarn over, front post, double crochet. Double crochet, yarn over, back post, so from, the, from the side to the side, and make a double crochet. So that's the pattern until you reach the end of this row, here at the very last two, so you'll make a front post or a back post. And on the last stitch, you'll make a regular double crochet. Okay? I'll meet you once I've reached this part. Alright guys, so I'm at the end of the row. So I still have one stitch remaining. So I end up with a front post double crochet. Now I'm going to make a regular double crochet. Not a front post or a back post, but I'm just going to make one double crochet on top of the last stitch. Like so. Alright, so we're just going to continue the, uh, the pattern for this rib pattern. Rib stitch, so just chain two, doesn't count as a stitch. Yarn over and make one double crochet in the same stitch. From your hook like that and then we'll continue with making back post double crochet on the back post and a front post double crochet on the front post so you can have 1.5 to 2 inches for your rib pattern so continue doing this and I'll meet you once you're done alright guys so I completed that part so you can have it uh, uh, longer than this, but I preferred it this way, so it's 1.5 inches. Now we're going to continue with making the rib pattern, so same rib pattern here on the center, in the center of our cardigan. So our rib pattern will be from here all the way here until the other end of the cardigan. I'm attaching my yarn 
like so. So you can attach your yarn however technique you want. Now I have it attached. I'm just going to make chain two. Again, this doesn't count as a stitch. And then get your stitch marker ready. So for the first row, this is just a regular double crochet. So no front post or back post yet, but we're making one double crochet in each um, space. So to do that, yarn over, make one double crochet here in the space, like so. Yarn over and another double crochet in the space. So every space make one double crochet. So another space right here. Space right there. Space here. So just one double crochet in each space. So space. space right here so just continue making one double crochet in each space guys and i'll meet you once you reach the other end okay guys so i'll meet you once i reach the top or the part where your neck would be so here this is the neck part you don't need to look for a space. You're just going to make your double crochet in each stitch until you reach the other uh, side again. Make one double crochet in each stitch. So you'll see that. Like that. And make sure that you are also going to make a one double crochet in the chain space. Okay, so this one, two, three, and then chain space. So one double crochet in each stitch until you reach the other end again here, the other side. So this is the other center, the other side of the cardigan, and you make one double crochet until you reach this part. So guys, I'm done with the double crochet across. Now we're just going to continue with the rib pattern. Again, it's going to be the same. So for the first stitch, chain two, turn your work. Doesn't uh, This doesn't count as a stitch. So make one double crochet. So just a regular double crochet in the first stitch. And you're going to continue with... Um, front post and back post double crochet so again to do that so front post for the first one back post like so and then front post back post double crochet front post so you're, go you're going to do that and you need at least one to two uh, one to 1.5 inches uh, for your rib pattern on this side so I'll meet you this is the last part of the tutorial so I'll meet you once you have your cardigan finished and there you go guys I finished my cardigan and I hope you like this video if you do like this video, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button. And I'll see you in our next tutorial. Thank you guys. Bye!